Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the most important concept in computer organization and architecture is arithmetic pipeline. Before going to the arithmetic pipeline, first of all, what is the advantage of pipelining concept? By using the pipelining concept, we are executing the instructions of the program in an overlapped fashion. Hence, the number of clock cycles required to execute the, all the instructions of a program is also reduced. Hence, we are improving the performance of the system by reducing the execution time okay so overall advantage of pipelining is we are increasing the performance of the system by executing the instructions in an overlapped fashion because of reducing number of clock cycles to execute the instructions of the program next one we can go for arithmetic pipeline. So, arithmetic pipeline is generally found in high speed computers. Arithmetic pipelines are usually implemented for performing floating point operations and multiplication of fixed point numbers. The floating point operations can be decomposed into several sub operations so these are the sub operations that can be performed in floating point addition and subtraction operations in the first sub operation is compare the exponents second one is align the mantises third one is add or subtract the mantises and fourth one is normalize the result so these are the four sub operations that can be performed in floating point addition or a subtraction operation. The floating point addition and a subtraction operations can be performed in four segments. So these are the four segments. In each and every segment, these four sub operations can be performed. Now, uh, the inputs for the arithmetic pipeline are two normalized floating point numbers. Okay. Generally, the normalized floating point number can be represented in this form. Here, X and Y are called as two floating point numbers. Capital A and capital B are called as mantises and small a and small b are called as exponents. Here, the base value is 2. Here, we are using base value either 2 or 10. Suppose if the base value is 2, then it can be called as a binary floating point number. Suppose base value is 10, it can be called as a decimal floating point number. Okay. Let us consider two normalized floating point numbers. Okay, so these are the two normalized floating point numbers. The first number is 0 0.9504 into 10 power 3. The second number is 0 0.8200 into 10 power 2. Okay, so these are the mantises and these are the exponents and this is the base value. Here, small a and small b are called as exponents. These exponent values are stored in the temporary register capital R. This register is used for storing the exponent values and also storing the intermediate result if any that can be occurred. Next, capital A and capital B are called as mantises. These mantises are stored in the register capital R. Okay. After 
that this result can be send it to the segment 1 in segment 1 what is the action that can be done compare the exponents by subtraction operation okay so in this first floating point number the exponent value is 3 in the second floating point number the exponent value is 2 now we are comparing the two exponent values by performing the subtraction operation so then what is the result we are getting 1 okay now after comparing what is the result we are getting that result is stored in temporary register capital R okay so register R can be used in between the two segments that is used for storing the result of the previous segment okay next one after comparing whatever the result we are getting which exponent value has the highest exponent value that can be considered as the result result resultant exponent here among the 3 and 2 which is the bigger value 3 so exponent 3 can be chosen that is the resultant exponent value after performing the addition operation between two floating point numbers okay so in the meanwhile so this action is also done okay here the mantisas are stored in capital R register that can be sent to this one align the mantisas okay after performing the subtraction operation we are getting the result one okay so with that uh, result we are adjusting the mantisa so that we are increasing the exponent value okay how we are adjusting the mantisa by performing the shift right operation on the mantisa so each and every bit in the mantisa that can be shifted towards right okay so this zero can be eliminated so this is the vacant place in that vacant place this zero we are uh, getting next one the remaining bits in the mantisa can be shifted towards right by one position so then we are getting eight two and this place is vacant in this place we are inserting zero so when we are adjusting or are aligning the mantisa by one position so this is the difference by one position then we are incrementing the exponent value okay so after aligning the mantisa of second floating point number so what is the result we are getting this is the result we are getting 0 0.0820 into 10 power 3 okay now these two exponent values are equal so then we are adding the mantisas add or subtract the mantisas so now so x is equal to 0 0.9504 into 10 power 3 and y is equal to 0 0.0820 into 10 power 3 so whenever the two exponents are equal so then we are performing the addition operation 4 plus 0 that is 4 0 plus 2 that is 2 5 plus 8 that is 13 9 plus 1 so 10 here 1 here 0 0 plus 0 plus 1 that is 1 into so which exponent value can be taken as the result exponent value that is a 10 power 3 so this is the 10 power 3 so this is the result we are getting after performing the addition operation between two mantisas that result is stored in the register r okay now this operation can be done in segment 3 okay so here meanwhile so whatever the uh, exponent value that can be taken as the result exponent value that can be sent to uh, register or 
in the meanwhile we are adding the mantissas by adjusting the mantissa in for the second floating point number that result is stored in temporary register r next one in segment 4 normalize the result here what is the normalization operation so normalization operation is nothing but in the mantissa after decimal point compulsory we are uh, getting the non zero digit if it is a non zero digit after the decimal point in the mantissa then the mantissa is said to be normalized mantissa okay then it can be called as a normalized floating point number but in this result after the decimal point zero is there so that it is not the normalized result okay so for that one what is the action we have to done in segment 4 adjust the exponent adjust the exponent is nothing but adjusting the mantissa then we can increasing the we are adjusting the exponent value okay how to adjust the mantissa so each and every bit in the resultant uh, uh, mantissa okay shifted towards right by one bit position okay this four can be eliminated after shifting towards right by one position so this place is vacant in this place two can be placed next three can be placed in the place of two next one zero can be zero can be placed in the place of three next one can be placed in the place of zero so then we are getting this one so 0 0.131032 so whenever we are adjusting the mantissa towards right by one position then we are increasing the exponent value so therefore we are getting z is equal to 0 0.1032 into 10 power 4 so this is the normalized result because after the decimal point non-zero digit is there then that result is called as normalized result okay so ed to adjust the exponent value we are adjusting the mantissa by shifting each and every bit towards right by one position okay so this can be done in segment 4 so whatever the result we are getting that result is stored in temporary register capital r okay so the in this way we have to perform the floating point addition or a subtraction operation okay so